Well, I'm going to make this piece up now for the front of the radiator duct panel. It's the bit that actually fits in between that point and that point, and it's uh, welded onto the front of the duct panel, and there's a little lip that goes down underneath that the Valance uh, mount panel fixes to. So I'm going to use the same uh, method as I used to make the Valance panel mount and from a flat piece of sheet metal I'm going to cut a piece about 20 mil wide on that curve. So we'll have a curved piece there that will take the shape of the front and then I'll also cut another piece the same length about 15 mil wide and it'll be cut straight and what I'll do then is weld at right angles the straight piece to the curved piece so what I've done there is I've cut one piece on the curve the shape of the front of the uh, radiator duct panel and then I've cut one more piece the same length and that piece has been cut straight so that gets uh, welded on around the curve at a right 90 degree angle and we end up with the piece at right angles to one another around the curve All right, well, there's that little bit made up there now. All ready to go in. And loosely sitting in place there where it'll end up being welded onto the front of that radiator duct panel. So that's all come up quite well. Another little job done. On to the next one. The reason I went about making that piece was that uh, that particular part was actually very securely fastened to the old radiator duct panel that I cut out. Now to unpick that and uh, try and harvest it would have uh, made quite a mess of it all so I found that it was probably a lot easier just to fabricate a new bit and uh, go from there. I'm starting to come to the end of a lot of this body panel repair work and the next big job will be the sandblasting of the, uh, the rest of the body tub. I plan to blast it before I join the two halves together to make it a little bit easier to get at. Uh, not having a rotisserie to spin the body on, I think it'll be easier to handle in two halves. I purchased one of those water sandblasting kits that you can hook up to your pressure washer, but found that it didn't work at all well, um, mainly because the, the pressure washer you need needs to do uh, quite a lot more volume of water than the one I have does. They don't tell you that in the fine print, unfortunately, so um, short on hiring one that will do 13 uh, gallons a minute or whatever you need, um, I'll have to just persevere with the uh, little hand sandblaster I've got. And uh, I've been doing it uh, in an alfresco situation out beside the fence. So it does, it does take a fair while, but we're getting there bit by bit. So I'll keep you up to date with all of that and uh, thanks for your interest and thanks for watching and uh, appreciate your comments and uh, hope you sort of enjoy these uh, quite amateurish little videos. So until next time, catch you later.